Hello, 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 good day everybody. Happy new month. I guess it's a new month. Oh, it's not a new month. Yeah, the month is still. Oh, I forgot about January. So, but welcome everybody. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for sitting down to today's video. My name is David, by the way. Good day, comrade. And I'm a product designer. Um, product designer who's passionate about edtech. And in this YouTube channel, I talk about product design, Figma, how to do it, and design how to do it. So, kindly subscribe, relax, and you know, let's learn. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you how you can do what you saw in the screen earlier how to make this kind of responsive box that you know spans like this and uh, you know it's just really really cool and responsive and then you can type if you are typing automatically just keep scaling and you have no stress like just look at how this works awesome and one use case of this is if you have this box made and you have probably another system you probably do designing for let's say you want to design for a tab which is very much similar to uh surface pro right you can easily just transition your design to what's happening figma yeah nope not this you can easily just transfer your design to this place wherever you want and then scale it uh to fit that space so you don't have to be redesigning for the same shape that's one of those very good uses of auto layouts and let's get right into it let me know with your time anymore so now if you want to design this thing if you want to make this box right what do we do this is how i like to do it i will teach this way so you understand we're going to decipher this box one at a time and we're going to recouple it again and i'm going to explain the features to you i made a video earlier where i talked about how you can make a responsive box right more like a form like a responsive table uh if you check the description in the checking description you see the link or you look to your right look to the right hand side of your screen you would see the link to that right now but that, that that's not it let's watch this video so we're going to like be strive for this video let's bring everything out one by one right you get this comment you bring out this comment so you can see how it made and then you can then see how everything came to life so we want this right this is currently inside the frame it's just colored in a way that you don't see it so we're going to bring this out and yeah we are on the right track so let's bring this out one after the other now this is basically what this is this is what is inside nothing more nothing less that's all so nope <laughs> I'm sorry yeah so let's 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 couple this first of all i want to explain how this works which is really important right now having to create this kind of form this way is one of the beauty of this whole thing is one of the beauty of the form so i'm going to decipher this itself i'm going to bring out this out right i'm going to bring this out here i'm going to bring out the text to just see how it's made up generally this is this was inside here nothing more nothing like this exactly was here and we have this and i use frame all the time over using groups or triangles and i'm expressing myself here because we need to all learn how to use frames and auto layout cool so in this video let's move forward oh this nice rainbow colors uh they just get your feelings deep inside that's what she said but not what i said um i'm saying you get this box let's imagine we create we want to get this text right we have a text let's uh, say we have this text we want to create a form so what we do we have our text make the text an auto layout that's the first thing you should do make the text an auto layout hit shift a on your keyboard to make the text an auto layout uh when you do that you select the text inside remember i said in this video which is going to come up at the end of this slide where i talked about how you know fill container behaves like a like water like liquid and the container behaves like cup so for any element you have inside your container inside the frame it's automatically becomes liquid when you make it fill container that's what i'm going to do here i want it to fill to this frame i'm going to name this frame damn i'm going to name this frame a just frame a right so frame a now i want it to be like a cup so i'm going to select the text inside and i'm going to make it fill container now it fills inside frame a is the cup right that's what we're doing here frame a is the first cup now you can see how this is responsive already we already have you know like one quarter of the job done so what we want to do is we want to have it in this kind of background so you get frame a and you add a fill to frame a what i did is you come here by the right hand side of your screen you hit the fill and you have white cool you can make it any color you want i'm just going to select a style from my previous style and also at the end of this video they're going to two screens that tells you how you can set up your style like this check out that in the, also in the description below so i'm just going to select a style yeah now you can see how this works so 
Now we have the same color. Cool. We can make any color we want, basically. And I'm gonna just change the color for. Yeah, can make it red. Ah, oh, this feels scary. Let's just make it. I don't want to go too deep. Uh, let's just make it pale. Yeah. So we have this, which is really. Are you going to change this again, David? Yeah, I'm going to make it blue. Now we have this, which is cool. But then we want to, and it's also responsive, cool. So we just make it round edge, just go to the corners, make it round edge, just you know, touch up that's the spaces, you get me? You get me? So we are done with this step, we are done with this big boy here, that we want this step, that is we want this comment. So I'm just going to drag this here, this is a normal text, right, by the way. I'm going to drag the text in here, uh, this is normal text, just like this text here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text, hold shift on my keyboard and select frame A, and then this is the creation of frame B. <sighs> just like, you know, don't worry, just like nothing. Then shift A on my keyboard, and we have 16. I'm going to put 16 in between them. Yeah, so you hit A on my keyboard, I put 16. Uh, I think 16 is a very good space, but let me make it, it, you know, the law of relativity, as what I like to call it, that, you know, elements that are closer to each other. If you see my hands moving, my hands are like moving right now, like Doctor Strange kind of stuff. Elements that are closer to each other, like, that's be related to each other. But that's not the topic. That is exactly what's happening here. That's why I made my, my distance 8. So we're going to make, I remember I said, if you want an element to expand and contract in a frame or in a body, you have to turn it into liquid because a liquid, we always fill up a cup, no matter, and always fill up the space it's poured into, no matter where and what it's poured into. So I'm going to make this box, this blue box, I'm going to come to the right side of my screen, resizing, and I'm going to make a fill container. Cool. I'm also going to make content fill container. Cool. Then this is my frame. I'm going to make this frame B. This is the making of frame B. B. You guys are the making of frame B. You guys are heroes. So we're going to just increase this this way. Now you see it works like the way we want it to work. It works basically exactly like this guy right here. And that's what we're looking for. That's all. So have, after having this, we want to now complete the cycle. Have this, have this also. So we have this. I'm going to bring it here. We have this. I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to explain this last. So then we want to make this. This is one of those tricky ones that you just catch your eye. So what I do here is, you make a frame, basically as well, you just make a frame and then leave the frame the way it is. When you make the frame, be careful of this thing, clip content, right? I'm going to show you an example right now. So you make a frame, you get this, I'm holding alt and dragging with my keyboard to be able to duplicate this the way I am doing. So you can do the same thing, but what you should take note of, leave your mouse first before you leave your keyboard so you don't get errors. Warning, you can try it for yourself, sir. I'm just warning you. So when you have your frame, you want to unclip content so that it allows the content outside that frame to show. When you clip content, you are clipping the content. Anything outside the frame would not show. You want to unclip content. So when you have a frame, you unclip the contents right this way. So you have this this way. So I'm just going to align this to the edge of this frame, making sure it's inside. And once you start seeing four here like this, right, that means it's not inside the frame. Once it's inside the frame, you won't see that number. So I'm just going to take this here slowly. So I then use my keyboard to move it for more accuracy. Nice. I like. I think I like where it is. Having this this way, I think we are basically done with the trick. So before we move on, I'm just going to select everything here. We have our image. We want it to be. We have our comments here. I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to make frame C. When I select all of them, I just normal select, drag everything together, and hit Shift A on my keyboard. Back up. That's all. Then shift A, you've made um, an auto layout, and I'm going to edit this to C, frame C, basically. And we're good to go. So now we want this to expand our contrast, right? So we're going to make this fill container cool. And this is inside this frame. So anything you do to the frame, to this white frame, automatically works here because it's inside. It's just no clip content. So it's, you get the point. So now this is fill container, that's where we want to be. But then we don't want it to have this skinny. We don't want it to be like this, right? But before we do that, let's add paddings to this. Let's bring it to life. So we're going to come to the right hand side of your screen. You can come to the middle here, wherever you want. This is like um alignments. I'm just going to leave it like in the left. 
and I'm going to add padding to it. So I'm going to add the padding to it four pixels round. Cool. But then for this to lap, just like the way this is lapping up here, we have to remove the top padding of the frame C. So we we'll go to frame C and we do make it zero. So it goes up automatically. But every other padding everywhere remains the same. After doing that, we add a fill to it so it comes out well. Cool. Now you can't see frame C anymore. All you can see is this nice guy hanging in the corner. So what we're going to do is to make this organized well, to make our spacing proper, we're going to crop frame C. But before we do that, I'm going to change the color so you can see what I'm doing. This is frame C, and I'm just going to reduce the height. So go to the right hand side of the panel here for more specificity. I'm going to change the height to zero. Wow, and frame C is gone. I can also make frame C transparent. Frame C is still there. It's still very much there, but it's B, like not frame C rather, the frame with the close button is still there but it's invisible right now like literally invisible but you see what's happening here this is not what we want right but frame c works that means like it works so after having this we're going to on our colors back for it and have it look this way awesome remember we wanted to have a very good spacing so i'm going to use 40 pixels for it which is related to each other i like 40 pixels for separating things really well and then what we want to do is we want to make this a contrast and expand. I remember I said if you want to make something contrast and a contrast and English contrast and expand in a frame in a container, you have to turn it to liquid. By turning to liquid, you make it feel container. So we're going to turn to liquid, make it feel container. This box also make it feel container. And we're good to go. So we're basically going to try this out now. Whoa, this is where we want to be. This is where I want to be, baby. So now this is cool. This is so nice. So what else is missing from this is the padding. You may want to have like a stroke around this, right? If you add a stroke, you have this stroke around it. Uh, we could make the stroke blue just to tell, give the user feedback that you are hovering on it. Yeah. Or it's active at this point. It's just good for accessibility, you know. Yeah. So this is basically what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it. We're basically done with this. We have our very nice, awesome you know responsive box here cool 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 let's drag this here back here and you can see no 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 that uh, but you can just see the same thing another use case of this transferring your designs to another screen to another frame you can transfer this to a to a tablet now all you need to do is just reduce this hue and then to the accurate space to the width if you want this to be 200 you want this to be 480 Wow, and you don't no need to start recreating. Use auto layouts, use frames, uh, you know, always turn things to fill container if you wanted to fill the container. Thank you all for sitting for this video. Thank you all for coming to my rainbow show. It's good to have you here. Once again, my name is David. I'm a product that that that's just boring. But you know, you know the drill. My name is David and you know on this channel about product design, Figma and like Figma, Figma how to do it. So like, subscribe, share, and don't these videos that I talked about earlier, yeah, the description, they're also on your screen right now. You know, you check them out. See you next week. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Yeah. So if you're still here right now, you're my fan, you're my OG. Yeah. I recently just finished test in school right now. So it's really stressful. College is stressful. Bye. Go to sleep.